What's up, guys? Oh my gosh. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to another Sunday's What's the Question. Today, we are going to be doing one question because it's very, well, it's getting very late right now and we're doing this video kind of late. We went to the mall and all that stuff with Ariana earlier on. Yes, indeed. And I'm tired, so. Because <laughs> she's not thriving. Not thriving at the moment, so like. I don't even like have the energy to do my makeup today. So. Question number one. Question number one. And only. only question. The title of this email is Boyfriend Problems, Please Help. Help in capital letters. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is blank. I'm currently 18 years old. I have been dating my boyfriend now for three years. Well, recently everything just has totally gone downhill. We got in an argument last weekend. He's been gone for a week, a whole week. I told him I was sorry, but that just isn't good enough for him. He's staying with his brother, which his brother doesn't like me at all. I have no idea why. But back to the story, the argument was in the car, so I got frustrated and I didn't know what to do. So I jumped out of the car and I ended up walking home that night. When I came home, he had packed up his stuff and left. Since then, we had our talks on Facebook about everything. He said he was going to be back this weekend, but he obviously lied to me. So I tried to talk to him, but now he's ignoring all my messages, my phone calls, and everything. He told me, his sister, that he had told his sister that he's better off single this is my last year of high school we are currently engaged and i have no idea what to do at this point i'm lost and confused everything i have done just isn't really good enough i'm so stressed out just been crying a lot this is something i didn't ever want to experience we're currently taking care of a three-year-old boy that we had since birth 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 soon to be adopting him when we're settled I am not working, so I ain't pro so I ain't providing nothing for me or the baby. With him being gone, I am scared that I am going to have to give up everything to take care of this child. I am worried that while he's gone, I'm sorry if you guys hear Ariana like yelling in the background. She's talking to her grandmother. I'm worried that while he's gone, working and having fun with his brothers, that. He will forget about us back here and leave me with more stress with school and a child. Can you guys please help? Thank you so much. It will be a big difference. Alright. To me it looks like you guys rushed things. Okay. Well, they, they said that they were dating for three years, right? Yeah, but they're engaged. They're taking care of a kid. Yeah, and yeah. school mm -hmm. and he left obviously he's probably stressed out by how fast things are yeah. moving yeah probably like honestly i'm like you said you're stressed too you know I'm... I'm a little bit scared that he's a little bit too scared of the situation that you guys are getting into and maybe he needs some time to relax or like you know be with his brother or you know that depends what they're doing that's what i'm saying like he could be doing something that you don't want him to do and that could if ruin his brother or bad influences and sorry if his brothers are bad influences yeah if they have a bad influence on him then things aren't gonna go well i can tell you that right now Especially the fact that I think she said that the brother is, the brother doesn't like her. And plus, yeah. he hasn't she hasn't got a hold of him for what a couple a while. Of days or while. And if his sister said that he's better, that he said he's better off single, that doesn't look too good to me. And to me, in my head, I am assuming that he did something or will do something that he shouldn't. That will end your guys's relationship. I mean, like we say in almost every video, we tell you guys to, you know, talk it out. But she, she hasn't got a hold of him for such a long time, so... Well, I'm pretty sure, like, shouldn't you know where he is? Like, if he's with his brother, then... 
you know, show up at the house where his brother lives. <laughs> if he's being a dumbass and he's leaving you with this kid, not his kid, but the baby or the, the infant, yeah. yes, and he wants to act this way, then let it be. Let, it act, let him act this way. Tell him, okay, well, every weekend you're going to have the kid. You want to act stupid? You want to act like you're... We're, we're, we're separated, we're divorced. Then you're gonna have the baby for the weekend then. I'll take care of the week and you have it for the weekend, that's it. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna learn. You can't just do that like that. You can't just leave and, and, and expect nothing else to happen. Like it's, I think the email was sent January something. Mm -hmm. like that's a while, it's three months from now. And she just sent it back again this week which possibly means that they're still they're in that still situation. in that situation so it's like three months of uh, not not seeing him or like not bettering the situation yeah and if the situation cannot be bettered then there is no point on moving on as a couple if you guys can't get past these little stages and the worst thing is right now i tell you to the easiest thing would be to, sorry, to um, not adopt adopt the That's child, but thinking. it's hard since you've had it since you've had the child since birth. Mm -hmm. It's like it's basically your own, right? So it's something that you would have to take in consideration, possibly, if you don't have a job and you're worried about taking care of. This child by yourself you did not adopt the child yet so you could always give this child to a family that can provide for them or what about your own family why don't someone you... some family member yeah well yeah. you have a family member take care of the child until you and your boyfriend straighten your, your shit out mm -hmm. you know or you for that fact if the boyfriend does not included in this later on him to act this way after three years is really weird three years you don't just leave like that without saying a word even yeah just be like f this like you, I, you i'm gonna be with this chick for three years but all of a sudden i'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna be, I'm like, gonna be with this this <laughs> this girl for three years um get engaged adopt the kid and then just leave <laughs> that's a little bit odd if it was me I wouldn't like this is three months ago so if this is still happening I wouldn't even put another second into it because there is nothing really worth saving there if it took three months took three months to do what if it took three months like this is this was sent three oh, months yeah, ago yeah, yeah, so if yeah. she's still trying for three months and to he try hasn't to fix done the relationship anything. yeah and he hasn't it's done anything done, since like, then. To me, it's totally not worth it and it's like a no, waste there's of your no, energy. Yeah, there's no hope. I'm pretty sure if you're strong enough and you, um, let's say, keep this uh, child and raise it as your own by yourself, I'm almost guaranteed that um, somebody that will come and help you, like you know, like uh, you'll mm -hmm. find a guy. Cause guys don't. If 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 he's a man, then let's just say that like he'll notice how strong of a woman you that you are, and um, he'll he'll appreciate what you've done in your in the past. You know how strong you've been for what you did, mm -hmm. and hopefully that'll work out. But let's not talk about that right now. So far, you still want to be with that. Um, guy that you have your boyfriend for three years also just another thing is that if you really want to adopt this child you could adopt the child but also have your family help you out in the beginning like you know help you get stable i guess talk to your parents see what they say <clears throat> your parents are your best your parents and your family are the best support system that you have yeah so you know go to them for I guess uh, sort advice, of advice yeah. to see what they think that you should do because they know you better than 
we know you and they know your situation better than we know your situation. Yeah. So that would be my best advice and also to not waste your time on this jerk. <laughs> I kind of find it rude and mean and selfish. all I find selfish, it selfish to just drop everything like that after three years. You know, you, you think after three years of being in the same relationship with the same guy that even after fighting with uh, fighting, you know, like after arguments and all that, you you know, like we 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 argue, we argue. We argue a lot. And then an hour after, an hour after, we just were like, broke. It's like we, we we love each other so much not to stay in an argument for so yeah. long, especially if it's like one of those like stupid little arguments, like oh, you gave me attitude, but like you didn't actually give me attitude, and like you're mad for like half an hour or whatever, but it's like. Like we said, we don't know the argument that you had, but it, 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 if it's, how can I say, if it's really, if it really was meant to be, then he wouldn't have left. He would have at least tried to tried talk to, work to you it out. and yeah. see like, you know, what you guys could do. And I mean, three months later, if he's still not trying and if he's still going out and doing whatever he's doing, then... Honestly, you could find someone way, way better than that. It depends what the argument is, too, right? Yeah. Let's say you cheated. Then, I could see why he left. Hopefully that isn't the case, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you would write that down in the email, but... Yeah. Um, if it was something like that severe, then... That would kind of be a hard situation to fix. But if it was something really stupid or really small, then... For us, stupid arguments is everything aside from including other people. Mm -hmm. Meaning like cheating, talking, or whatever it is. Like a little Secret argument. Secret messaging. Or that, that's anything like... that has to do with other people. So for him, mm -hmm. other girls. For me, other guys. And that, that's, that's what causes that's, the big arguments. Yeah, those are big arguments. But I mean, like everything else, small. Something that you could get over so yeah, easily. It is. So. But that's just us, right? You guys, we don't know you guys. Talk to your parents, mom, dad, sister, brother. Uh, Sorry, there's little feet auntie. running back there. <laughs> Talk to your family. See what they say. Your parents and. Think of the worst case scenario. Let's say. Oh. What's the worst case scenario, which is would be which would be um, you raising this child by yourself, if your parents would support you, or if your parents are willing to support you, and you think you could make it on your own like that and do so. That's if you're not willing to part with the child, right? Yeah. If you want to keep this child and. Which I'm sure you, you do. You probably do. When you're attached to a child for three years, that's a long time. So Speak to your parents. That's my best uh, advice. Um, if he wants to be an idiot, let him be an idiot. Let him be an idiot. And like I said, he wants to be an idiot? Okay. Like I said. Just move on and be your bigger person. And just be very strong. Like, don't feel depressed or whatever because of his stupid mistakes and for him leaving and for him not wanting to make the relationship better that's his loss that's what you need to put in your mind it is not your fault and to move on from it like i said yeah if he wants to be an idiot you can have the child every weekend or if you um yeah but see technically if she adopts a child, it's not technically his child. So even if she went to court for it, it wouldn't be his duty. But that was January. Yeah, I know. So but right by now, could it could probably she could probably could have adopted. Yeah, I know. But if if she adopted it and he's not in the adoption papers, then like you know he has no rights to take care of the child. Just saying that out there. But if he did do something with the papers for the child, then he does. You can make him take the child every weekend or every other weekend. All right.
Anyways. So that is ending today's Sunday <coughs> with the question. Yes. Once again, it is just advice. You can take it or you it. can leave it. And we will see you guys on Wednesday. Just gonna vlog the day or something. This night has been ugly for the past three days. Yeah, it's been raining and hail and all that stuff, so. We will see, but thumbs up this video if you like it. And subscribe if you're new. And, and don't forget to share. Share. Like, subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Love, love you. Love you guys. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Why are you so tired? <laughs> it's so hard to find a friggin' good guy. These days. He's mine, ladies. Sorry. <laughs>